Where's the big skull? French artist oh, Nikki de Sunfall lived in San Diego toward the end of her life until her death in 2002. Her final work of public art, Queen Califia's Magical Circle, is located in Escondido's Kit Carson Park. There's an abstract mirrored maze and a circle of totems of fantastical creatures, all surrounded by giant serpents. We call this m and mm -hmm. because it looks like m and ms Sanfal died before the work was finished. Lech Jarecko, Nikki de Sanfal's longtime assistant, helped finish the job, and he continues to take care of her work, stone by stone. It was a uh, big shock for me, too. If you know a person for so many years, you get close to. But after, you know, life goes on, you have to finish it. This type of art that Simfal created in her later years is vivid and recognizable. Bright, larger-than-life characters and animals, each one mosaiced with intricate details, like small, polished stones. They are shiny. They are vibrant colors and I, as you can see there are a lot of different colors. I don't think you can buy this right now. Jareko met Senfal in 1994 as a handyman working on her home. She then asked him to help with her mosaic sculptures and before long he was traveling with her around the world. She was the best person. As an artist, I, you know, sometimes you hear that the artist is ugly or this and that. She was the best person, really. She explained to you, she, you know, it's, it's, that's, that's why. I mean, I mean, because of her, I learned, let's say, everything what I learned is because of her. He worked closely with Senfal on many of her sculptures, including most local pieces, like the Nikki Cater and Queen Califia. Here they are in a KPBS documentary from 2002. I love this, uh, this, all these greens and everything. What do you like best, Lek? So I like the, the pinky one from Madagascar because it comes only from Madagascar. You can have something like this from another country, but not this kind of pinky, not the bright color like this. Her elaborate construction makes taking care of the sculptures a significant job. Just clean up and put the replacement stone on. When a stone falls out, Replacement is more like a dental procedure than art. But the cities that own these works of public art can't always provide enough funding for the regular upkeep Jareka thinks is necessary. Queen Califia is often closed to the public, especially after rain. After some vandalism in the sculpture's early years, it was fenced off, surveillance cameras were installed, and hours were limited to a few mornings a week and occasional Saturdays when volunteer docents can be present and then someone has to do the repairs. It's always been lack. It will probably remain lack. Daniel Lopez is assistant director of community services for the city of Escondido. Public art falls under her purview. For repair work, the Nikki Charitable Art Foundation splits the cost. Recently, they repaired a large section to the tune of $56,000. These tiles are from New Mexico, from Italy, from, you know, like, it's not like something you can just go to your local tile store and pick up. Jarekko wants the people who hold the purse strings to think about maintenance rather than repairs. But when you come here, when everything looks disaster and you start from the scratch again, and after three, four, five years, the same, I mean, how many times you can do this? The ideal solution, it should be maintenance. There's something intensely personal about Jarekko's dedication to the work of Nikki de Sanfal, his longtime friend and mentor. Julia Dixon-Evans, KPBS News.